For the last 10 years, the Low Carbon Initiative under the ECT has helped Taiwan's government and companies build a solid cooperation with global organizations to implement best practices and policies on reducing carbon emissions. The initiative has helped promote sustainability and renewable energy in Taiwan through a series of flagship events such as the Global Wind Energy Summit and the Sustainable City Conference. These events have helped promote Taiwan policies to the global arena and attract more investment and collaboration opportunities for which we can see concrete results today. These are even more meaningful as we celebrate Earth Day here today. So the ECC's Low Carbon Initiative was started 10 years ago in 2012. It was myself and two other of the ECT members we decided to go for lunch in a nearby park to the ECT office and discuss how we could help promote sustainability, circular economy, low carbon initiatives and so on here in Taiwan. Europe has always been on the forefront when it comes to promoting these kind of initiatives globally and we wanted to play a significant role here in Taiwan and help Taiwanese businesses and European businesses here as well to promote these kind of best practices. Uh, the LCI has grown to become a well recognized initiative. Its members, the membership has grown from 14 to around 70, expanding uh, to include not only European but also US, Canada, Australia, Japan, Indonesia and Taiwanese organizations and representatives. Based on the government's 5 plus 2 policy released in 2017, the LCI has invited members to share their expertise in green energy, green financing, green mobility, smart cities, smart manufacturing and circular economy. Based on Taiwan's policy goals towards 2024, the LCI has also created three working groups under these six categories to promote green finance, environmental social governance, and corporate PPA. The LCI has also published five reports over the past eight years on topics ranging from saving energy consumption to shaping Taiwan's energy transition, uh, these concrete examples show how the LCI provides insightful and feasible solutions. Such input has helped the government to recognize the opportunities sustainability provides for Taiwan. So the LCI has just finished the 2021 International SDGs Forum and published Global City Solutions on Ecomobility and Ecologistics in March. For the upcoming months, the LCI is to work with the Taiwan central government and also with the municipal governments in over 20 activities on offshore wind energy, green financing, ESG, and corporate power purchase agreement, CPPA, hydrogen energy storage, circular economy on PV panels, and wind turbine blades recycling, building sustainable supply chains, and more. The LCI will especially push green hydrogen generated by renewable energy in the next few years, which will help Taiwan to align with global goals to achieve net zero carbon emissions. Um, we feel it's important uh, that Taiwanese companies are also part of the transition. Joining the ECT and the Low Carbon Initiative provides a unique opportunity for local companies and government agencies to better understand what is happening on the front line of the battle against climate change, which is taking place in Europe and other parts of the world. European technologies are at the forefront. They are, they are the most advanced and they are the, the most widely implemented. Taiwanese companies have a great opportunity to learn what is happening and thereby leapfrog into the front line and not only uh, be limited to what, what they currently know what is ongoing here in Taiwan. So uh, we warm, warmly welcome anybody who's interested to join our organization, to take part of these best practices, and most importantly, help to make significant policy changes here in Taiwan for future generations to come.